So one of the main issues that I see new sellers face is they don't list enough, right? One of the best tips that I can give you is to list a lot. The biggest problem that I see with people having trouble starting, whether it's drop shipping on Poshmark, like I've shown in the past, or if it's this, or even if it's reselling anything in general, is they don't list enough products, okay? Don't just list 10 things, and when you don't get a sale, then stop, throw your hands up, and say it doesn't work. Don't just list 50 things and stop and claim it doesn't work, right? If you really want to make money online, you have to put some work in. Nothing is a magic pill. It doesn't matter how easy the business model looks or how easy the person on YouTube in this example makes it seem, right? Now, that being said, this is pretty easy if, and that's a big if there, if you're willing to put some work in, okay? And it actually doesn't take all that much work. I don't focus on this like at all, literally at all. It is not my focus whatsoever throughout the day. I focus on my content side of my business and my main reselling side of the business. And I've literally just been testing this out and playing around with it like in the morning when I work out between sets and at night when all my work is done and I'm winding down, right? In that case, I usually put on like one of my favorite YouTubers or listen to an interview with a CEO, CEO or something or an audiobook and relax, right? And list at the same time, okay? So it's not like I'm saying that you need to sit down from morning to night listing products to make any money with this. That is not the case, all right? But you will have to list and you will need to put a little bit of work in, okay? The benefit of how I'm going to show you how to do this though is that it's pretty much mindless, right? Once you get it down, the software will do about 95% of the heavy lifting for you, if not more, and you just have to verify some things, save the URL of your product so that you can obviously go back there once you you know, get, a, get an order so you can order it yourself and send it to them, and then change some words here and there in a title or a description or you'll see here once we get to the tutorial, right? But the best way to approach this is to set a goal of consistently listing products every day for a month. Start it out for a month, just set a consistent goal, build some momentum, okay? That goal could be five listings a day, and you can literally do, once you get half decent at this, you can do five listings in like five, 10 minutes. No joke, it's not hard, okay? Maybe it's 10 a day, maybe it's 20 a day, maybe it's 50 a day, okay? If you really wanna scale this quickly, whatever it is, okay? Whatever you have time for. And then you'll look up a month from now if you do it consistently like that and have another income stream that's paying you pretty well. Then once you have a good proof of concept and you see firsthand that it's working for you and you're not just taking my word for it, then you can invest more time into listing and scaling, okay? So those are the main issues that I see new sellers face. Let's talk about three potential problems that you might run into. Now, the first one is the main issue that a lot of dropshippers face, and that is tracking numbers. And I've actually faced this myself when I started resale dropshipping. I would list things from Amazon, and then I realized like, okay, I have the tracking number because I have my Amazon account, but how do I give that tracking number to my customer on a different platform, right? And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. There's many ways to actually do that, but I recommend using the DSM tool. It's simply a Chrome extension that you can sign up for that converts your Amazon tracking number into a different tracking number that you can then give to the buyer so they can follow along with where their order is. This also helps because it helps you to track your orders. It also helps you to save the tracking number if you want to in a spreadsheet later. And it also helps if you know there's a potential issue with your order so that you can prove it to the marketplace that you list on in this case, Facebook Marketplace, that you did ship the item, that it did go to the customer, and that you have tracking proof, okay? Now, the second issue that you might face is cash flow. And this is especially prevalent with new sellers that don't have a lot of money, but you know, if you're scaled up and you have a lot of money, you could still face this issue as well, okay? So I obviously recommend using a cashback credit card if, big if there again, if you're responsible. If you're not financially responsible, do not use a credit card, okay? And if, this is def and if this is you and you're using a cashback credit card, definitely pay attention to my next point here in a second. But if not, then you simply wanna just open up a new bank account just for this, okay? I recommend opening up a brand new bank account. It will make it very, very easy. Then put a few hundred dollars into it or if you have you know, 100 or whatever it is, right? Put that, my recommendation is a few hundred to start this so you have a little bit of cash flow. Uh, and then keep it simple, right? You don't need to overcomplicate it in the beginning. That will protect your downside so you're not charging thousands of dollars up on a credit card 
while also allowing you to make money. And so you see your bank account steadily increasing as you sell more products and as you get more money back from the Facebook payments that you're collecting, right? And I also recommend that, especially if you're using a cashback credit card, but it really doesn't matter in both instances, if you're using cash on a debit card um, or your bank account, or if you're using a cashback credit card, track everything, especially when you're a beginner, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you my system here. It makes it very, very easy. And what I basically do now that I'm a little bit more advanced is I don't really track my profit. I just assume because I'm not worried about the cash flow and I'm not worried about the margins potentially because when I when I go, you'll see it here in a second, but as I go and order something, if somebody orders it from me, right? Then I go in to order it from wherever my supplier is. In this specific tutorial, I'm gonna show you Amazon. God forbid, like I, the, I'm not making profit and I'm losing money, I'll just delete that listing, right? And it's not that big of a deal. So I'll ship it to the customer and just take that, that loss there. I also don't personally worry about returns, but that's just me, right? And I'll also show you my inventory system. So I'm a little bit more scaled now and I'm not that worried about it. I, this is not just Facebook Marketplace. I do this on a number of other marketplaces as well. And I plan on creating tutorials on them coming very, very soon. I'm excited about this. But if you're new, you should track everything, okay? That way you know your numbers. This The best way to do this is with a spreadsheet, okay? Or simply list high if you want to and then delete products, like I said, if the price goes too high. And you can also cancel an order on many platforms, especially Facebook Marketplace, although I would recommend trying to avoid that if possible. If you're taking a loss on a product and it's not that substantial of a loss, just take the loss, delete that product, move on to the next product. Same thing with a return. People are always like, well, how do you calculate returns in your, you know, in your, you know, your profit margin? Or how do you account for them? And the answer is very, very simple. Don't overcomplicate it. You can also track that in your spreadsheet, but I don't worry about it, right? Because for every, I don't know the specific numbers, but let's say for every hundred orders I have, I might get one return, okay? So it's not something that I'm really that worried about, but you can obviously address that problem as you go. I would rather, rather than worrying about like returns and potentially spending my finite energy worrying about things like that, I would rather spend that finite energy listing more in other places, okay? So in short, track everything when you're new, or you can simply follow along with a tutorial like I'm about to show you and just do it like I do, okay? Now, the last thing is that it does seem that on a lot of these listings, and this is just anecdotal, I don't have any you know proof of this yet, it's just data that I'm seeing, it does seem that there's a lot of listings that might have kind of a short shelf life on Amazon, right? or not on Amazon, on Facebook Marketplace, I'm used to saying Amazon, uh, meaning that they basically go stale and you need to renew the listing potentially sometimes to get more visibility and make it new. Now, I'm still testing this and I'm still looking at data, but that's just what I'm seeing on quite a few listings so far. Now, obviously, like I said before, you should also use a cashback credit card, just to recap, you can also use things like Honey and Rakuten uh, when you're buying and other cashback things for extra money. And I have tutorials on all of these. I'll try to remember to link a Honey, a Rakuten, and a cashback credit card tutorial of the best ones that I recommend, how to use Honey and also how to use Rakuten down at the bottom of the description, okay? Now, finally, before, let's get all the boring stuff out of the way. Before we actually get into the tutorial here in a second, there's some things that you're gonna need to start. It's very, very simple. You need a Facebook account, which probably 99.9% .9 of you that are watching this have. If you don't have a Facebook account, then just simply sign up for one. It might take you honestly like a day or two because they do a lot of verification things if you're new, because who doesn't have a Facebook account? But if that's you, you know, it's totally fine. Just sign up for one, you'll be able to get one, okay? You also need some money to, to obviously spend in a bank account or you need a credit card, okay? Very, very simple. Two other things that you're gonna need that make this really, really streamlined and really make this a lot easier on you is ZDrop, which is the Chrome extension that I use to actually list things, right? And what that does, you'll see in the tutorial here in a second, is it takes Amazon listings and automatically posts them to Facebook Marketplace super quickly. And this is a game changer. I used to literally copy everything myself manually, but this saves you probably a minute or two, if not more, You know, if, even if you're going fast, right? It saves you a lot of time. And as you're listing more and more items, that's gonna exponentially increase the amount of money that, or sorry, jumped ahead of myself. The amount of listings that you're able to list, which will obviously increase the amount of money that you're able to make in your profit, okay? So ZDrop Chrome extension is what we're going to use here. You can download that on the Chrome store. The other Chrome extension, again, on the Chrome store for Google Chrome is the DSM tool. 
And that's a great way that, like I touched on previously, if you do decide to use Amazon as your supplier, then you'll obviously need to convert their tracking number into a different carrier's tracking number, okay? This specific one converts it automatically into a Blue Care Express tracking number, which obviously then you can input into Facebook in this case or any specific, you know, marketplace that you're doing this on so that the buyer can obviously track their order. Now, remember to recap, you cannot just input a Amazon tracking number. You can, so be careful. Like, I don't mean to say like you can't actually put it in, they won't let you. You can, but then it will become apparently obviously obvious what you're doing and the buyer obviously won't be able to track, right? So you need to put input the tracking number and then give them the actual, um, you know, the, the Blue Care Express tracking number place where they can actually track their thing if they ask for it, okay? And you also remember, you need to remember that you need to input a tracking number within three days after they make the order. So make sure whoever you use ships out quickly. Okay, so now before we actually get into the tutorial really fast, I wanna bring to your attention two parts of this Z-Drop Chrome extension that you'll see right up here that really I won't be going over specifically in this tutorial, but are gonna be super helpful for you if you wanna use them in your own dropshipping business as well, okay? So the first thing is that you can bulk upload. You'll see these little uh, three red things right here are part of the Z-Drop extension. Once you download this and you sign up, I believe it does cost $10, but it comes with a free trial. Uh, once you actually do download this and you re refresh your window, and you're logged in, you'll see these, these things pop up, okay? So one of the ways I'm gonna show you here in a second is to simply copy it to Facebook Marketplace, okay? You can also, if it's something that's vintage or handmade, also copy it to Etsy, although obviously this example right here doesn't work, or you can save it to your bulk list, okay? So if you hit save to the bulk list, which I'm not going to because this is already on my bulk list specifically, if you come up here and you click the Z-Drop extension, you'll see that there's a bunch of things in my bulk list, right? And so what you can do, I'm not gonna actually demonstrate it here because it will actually take a lot of time to actually list all these things. It's gonna literally go down and list every single thing that I've included in my bulk list is you can go over to bulk and then you can run the bulk and you'll see there's only two things actually in my bulk list right here. Um, but then I can run the bulk after I select all and it will literally post them all to Facebook Marketplace and then you just need to go through and verify like put the price in, make sure that the price is set up, obviously, if you're not doing it with a template like I'm about to show you, or you also need to verify like the title or make sure the pictures are stuff are, are basically, you know, fine and everything. So bulk is super, super easy way to list a bunch of things. You can go to Amazon and simply, once you're on a bunch of like, like uh, listings like this, just simply save to bulk list, save to bulk list and do it with like, I wouldn't get too crazy, maybe save it like, 20 to 50 and then list them all and go ahead and verify, right? You don't want to get too carried away because if you start listing with bulk on like a hundred things or a thousand things, you're never going to actually finish that before you, you know, you boot down your computer or before you, you go to sleep or something like that, right? So I wouldn't get too carried away, but you can use that. It's a game changer and it will list them super fast. And then you just need to verify a few things. Now, another thing I want to touch on really briefly with this extension is that you can set up a template as well so that when you post your products, for example, it already starts out with like a 20% profit margin or always like hide it from friends on Facebook Marketplace, which is exactly what I do. So now that we've got all that out of the way, let me show you exactly how I go ahead and do this, okay? So what I'm gonna do, and one of the best tips that I can give you is to also, first of all, you wanna list a lot of things like we've covered before, but also list obscure things. List everything that you see, okay? Yes, you wanna list things that are like best sellers. Yes, you wanna list things that have high profit margins. Yes, you wanna list things that are cheap. Yes, you wanna list things that are expensive, right? And what I'm basically saying is list a bunch of things. It's the best way that you're gonna figure out what works for you that isn't working for other people, right? If I gave like a one size fits all, like this is the best category, this is the best type of product that you should list. This is the best type of profit margin that you should go after. Then everybody would do that and eventually it would get saturated, right? And then it would cease to be the best thing or the best category. The best tip that I can give you is find out for yourself, okay? So you can go to best sellers, you can go into a category, you can find products in any number of ways. And obviously I'm using Amazon here as an example, but you can source from a number of websites as long as it gets shipping and you get a tracking number, okay? There's a bunch of them out there. I'm not gonna list them for you, like Walmart, Home Depot, Tar like anything like that you can list from, okay? So for this example, I'm gonna go into the best sellers and let's just pick a random category. Let's go to like, I don't know, kitchen and dining. And 
you typically want to, you, there's two ways to approach it. Either the volume approach where you just list a bunch of things and it, probably in that case, like everything that you list is not gonna sell. Chances are a lot of things will never make a sale, right? But all you need is a couple that start to get recurring sales that pick up traction and that will cover your profit and pay for all the time you spent listing the others, right? So remember, like I said, do not list this, do not just go ahead and list like 10 things or 50 things and think it doesn't work. You need to actually put the work in consistently consistently and then you'll have a couple products that hit and they will be recurring income for you as people continue to order okay so i'm going to go ahead and list this kitchen drawer organizer why not and maybe this smoothie maker really fast to give you two examples okay and i'm going to show you how i do this but you can list best sellers or you can list often like sometimes the best products are things that you wouldn't think sell so i come down here and i'm like and i've actually sold this before before so i'm gonna list that one as well um, but so you like often the things that you don't think will sell well are indeed the things that actually drop ship well, right? Because a lot of people are going down and giving their, like their gut opinion of like, oh, this looks like it's a high profit margin. I could probably drop sh ship this for more or, oh, this looks like a high prop profit margin. I can drop ship this for more. And like, this isn't very exciting. So like maybe someone skips over this or like the majority of people do, but maybe this drop ships very well. And so the best tip that I can give you, like I said before, is to try a bunch of different things and then slowly you will see what works for you and what does not, okay? So just put up a bunch of random ones. I'm only gonna show you like one or two because I don't wanna waste your time. Let's go to like a good one here. My computer's being really slow because it's running uh, software in the background. So let's uh, drop ship this butane torch from Amazon specifically here. It's a great listing as well because you can see that there's a lot of ratings on it. You can also see that there's a lot or that there's a relatively cheap price on this and it's highly rated and has the Amazon's choice badge. So you can pretty much guess. It's not for certain, right? Don't take my word on this, but you can pretty much guess that this is not going to go out of stock anytime soon, if ever. And then also not really going to change the price. Now, if you want to do, I don't have keep it installed. Um, do I have keep installed? I don't have keep installed right now. It's not going because the extension's hidden. But you can also use keep it to verify if there's been like price fluctuations recently. But I don't want to get into that right here. I'm trying to keep this beginner friendly. Okay. So all you need to do to list this to Facebook Marketplace is copy to Facebook and all it's gonna do is it's gonna simply copy it to Facebook. Now, it might go a little bit slow because I have this up and I also have a bunch of like cross posting for list perfectly in the background. So like it's doing that while I'm doing this. So it's being a little bit slow. And then you simply, once it opens up this blank page on Facebook Marketplace, and you need to obviously have a Facebook Marketplace account signed up. All right, well, for, yeah, you need to sign up for Facebook and then obviously open a Facebook Marketplace and verify your payments so they can charge you for shipping and stuff like that but then you just wanna hit paste data once it opens it up there. And then it should slowly start pasting that listing in. And that's the simplicity of it. That's all you need to do, right? The Chrome extension does all the heavy lifting for you. Now it's taking a minute, there we go. It's even gonna paste the tags or some tags, which is obviously something that's really, really cool that I haven't seen before personally. And you can also see that with the template that I set up, it automatically hides it from friends, which I know is a big thing for a lot of people, because if you have like your part, you can also do this from like a business page and list from a business page, but a lot of people are going to be listing from their personal page. And so a lot of people have an issue. They're like, I don't want to constantly be posting like hundreds of things to my friends every day. They're going to hate me. So just simply hit the hide from friends button. You can do it manually, or you can set that up in your template on uh, Z drop. Another thing that the template automatically does is that you'll see it set the price to 18 because I automatically have it set at a 20%, I think, I think it's 20% profit margin. So it marked it up 20%, so 1599 to 18 bucks. And then I think that's 20%. Yeah, that's 20%. And then, uh, so it already automatically does that for me, right? Now you'll see how to verify the price here once we go to next and I'll tell you your profit margin, but let me go through this slowly of exactly how I would do this. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna be able to track where your product's URL is, right? Because if somebody orders this, you need to know where to actually go ahead and buy it so you can make the profit and ship them the item. So I'm gonna copy the URL. I'm then gonna open up uh, a folder full of my drop shipping listings. You can literally see just like numbers here, right? So I know if somebody orders a listing, go back to Facebook, orders a listing with a number at the bottom of the description. Let's say for example, this is 99, right? And I see that somebody orders this and I go down to the description that says 99, well then I can simply come back into my dropshipping folder, click on 99 and that will take me to the URL, okay? And I know exactly where I actually purchased that. So I'm gonna save this 
as a shortcut. I'm going to save the URL that I just copied, and then I'm going to click the next number is 96. So now I'm going to put that number 96 in the bottom of the des this description, not 99. So I know when somebody orders this, I go to 96 in my dropshipping folder and I simply order that product and send it to this person, right? Very, very simple way to do it. Very, very easy and streamlined way to run your inventory, okay? Now I'm also going to, once since I'm already here, gonna add some tags in here. So let's scroll up and then we'll just put some tags in. You can see it added some tags, but like I want some more specific tags. So we're gonna go like butane torch, um, mini torch. I don't know anything about torches. We'll go like cooking torch. I don't know. Maybe lighter. And I would probably add a few more. You can add up to 20, but I would add some here if it didn't add like good ones in there already. Okay. But for the sake of showing you, I'm not going to get too, too involved here. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to come up. It doesn't always do this, but this extension does this almost every time. It adds this here in the top of the description. Make sure this fits by entering your model number. Make sure this blah, 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 right? So you don't want to actually keep that in your description. You want to delete it out. And then I like to give myself another little extra space here because I like to paste the title on the top of the description, but that's just how I approach it. You don't need to do that. You can simply just delete that, okay? Because if you look at the Amazon description here, that's not there, right? It starts with note butane gas, but for whatever reason, it just puts that in let me show it to you again. It just puts that in the top of the title for not every listing, but for the majority of listings. Okay. So delete that, space it down because we're going to add the title in there. Now we're just going to simply go up the list, right? So we need to add and, and adjust all these things right here. So it's guard. No, it's not that it's not outdoor lighting. I'm just going to say tools for the sake of demonstrating here, but I probably want to find like the best category here. It might be like kitchen or home and like something along those lines. But for the sake of showing you, I'm going to just do it like this. I rarely add the brand in here unless it's something like Little Tykes or something like, you know, something that you would like, like what's another, DeWalt's a good one that seems to get a lot of traction on Facebook. So like if it's a brand like that, that's easily recognizable that people might be searching for, add the brand in, right? That makes sense. But I genu generally don't. Now, two ways that you can do this is you can just keep track of your margins. If you really wanna make more sales, but not have a high profit margin, you will make more sales at the, the more competitive your prices are, right? So I'm gonna make more sales, chances are at $18 than I would at like 25, right? But I'm gonna list this relatively high, maybe go like 23 here, because I'm gonna, I'd am gonna i rather list it high so I don't really have to pay attention to it, and then I just know that there's a lot of potential profit in there. On top of that, I already know that, it's not really gonna change the price much because it's uh, Amazon's choice, and it's, you know, it, the, pl the price here isn't gonna fluctuate, it's pretty much set. That's not always the case, but it is for the majority of cases, okay? So, I'm gonna list it at $23. I'm gonna say like available quantity, like you can list this like two, maybe like one to five realistically. I would list more than one quantity if you're drop shipping, because if you only list quantity of one, then you're gonna to have to relist it every single time. Um, but I wouldn't go crazy. I wouldn't be like, oh, I never have to relist this. I'm just gonna put 99 quantity. Cause that's gonna set off major red flags to Facebook. If you constantly listing like so much quantity of everything, they're gonna be like, okay, something's up here. We need to look into this, okay? It's not like you're not allowed to do this, at least to my knowledge. I don't know if this is against Facebook's terms of service yet on the marketplace, but chances are they're gonna wanna steer clear of this in the future if it's not currently. So I would just protect yourself, maybe one to five max, okay? And then I'm gonna fix the title here. So we're gonna go like kitchen, butane torch, culinary torch, referral. And then at the end of this, cause sometimes it cuts off, you can leave it if you don't really care and you're just going for volume. I like to kind of fix it really fast. So like with safety lock. Boom, and we're gonna select all of this because like I said, we are going to paste it in the top of the description. And that's how our listing's gonna look, right? When somebody comes to this listing on Facebook Marketplace and buys it, we're gonna make the markup and profit. And that listing doesn't look too bad. I know when they order, when somebody buys this, I go to 96 here, it's got some tags and it looks pretty solid, okay? And that was like kind of like a slow tutorial. It took a while for me to actually show you that, but that's because I was demonstrating. If you do this on your own and you learn it and you do it quickly, you can really bang these out in like a minute, if not, like if not less, honestly, especially with this Chrome extension. So I'm gonna do another one really fast here for you in a second, just to kind of show you the quickness that you can obviously do this in. But let me finish this listing really fast. It's hidden from friends, that's good. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna go shipping only. 
I'm gonna use my own shipping label, right? We don't use a prepaid shipping label. In the old tutorial, I was like, okay, you can combine like retail drop shipping with like arbitrage and order it to your house first. And that's gonna protect you, obviously. That's, you're allowed to do that on a lot of platforms, okay? That said, if you're trying to save time, you don't wanna actually do the fulfillment yourself. And it kinda of can be a hassle verifying all that stuff when you have packages coming to you and then you're shipping them out. It can be a lot to kind of manage. So what I recommend is obviously to ship it with your own label and then you can order it directly from Amazon or wherever. This is how dropshipping actually works, right? Order it from Amazon specifically or from whatever website that you're obviously ordering from, whoever your supplier is, directly to the customer, right? And then you can use the tracking number like I've said before, okay? And then I'm gonna offer free shipping me personally, because because I have Amazon Prime, and in this specific case, I'm using obviously Amazon to do it. I don't. It doesn't cost me anything to, to ship it, right? Amazon's going to ship it for free. So you can see here that after all is said and done, if I sell this at twenty three dollars, and I'm obviously making twenty one eighty five after fees. That's one of the benefits of Facebook Marketplace drop shipping is their fees are so low, only five percent, which is the lowest online with a marketplace where there's a lot of customers on. So this is a great opportunity right now and their fees are so low, so your margins are gonna be higher. So I'm gonna make 21.85 when I list this. If somebody buys it, obviously, I'm buying it for about 15 bucks, so that's a $6 profit margin or almost a $7 profit margin, okay? So I'm literally almost you know, making 50% uh, margin here on this product, right? Pretty, I think that is over 50%. So then we're gonna hit next and we are going to list it, okay? Now, a few caveats here. I did save this, correct? I did, yeah, 96. So we're gonna move on to the next one and I'll show you another example. Let's list this thing really fast. But another thing that you can do once, just a little caveat for staying this long, is you can also use list perfectly to cross post it elsewhere, okay? So with the Chrome extension, like I showed you, right? You have uh, ZDrop. If we go back to this, you'll see that ZDrop only integrates with two marketplaces. It only integrates with Facebook Marketplace or Etsy. So you're like, okay, well, I guess I can't dropship on other marketplaces. But if you use a multi-channel listing software, where is it? Uh, right here. If you use a multi-channel listing software, I'm going to create a tutorial on this coming very, very soon. This is a game changer. I've been using it a lot lately. And I always used to use this to like post everywhere. So if you go to listperfectly.com, I used to just like, and I still do it like this when I'm reselling my own reselling business, right? Instead of like posting it on eBay and then posting it on Mercari and then posting it on, you know, wherever, right? Poshmark. What I, what I basically do is I'd post it to List Perfectly and List Perfectly would just, boom, post it everywhere at the same time, right? So I still use it like that. But now I also use it in my dropshipping business because you can also cross, cross post from Poshmark to Mercari from Facebook Marketplace to Poshmark, from Facebook Marketplace to Etsy, and so on and so forth. So if you hit this little cross post listing, for, uh, once you have List Perfectly installed and you obviously subscribe to it, and I'll drop a List Perfectly uh, affiliate link down in the description. I think you can save 50%, I believe. I forget the actual deal that they have, but 50% off the first month or something like that. You, I'll put the details of whatever you can save down in the description. And you'll see that once you click that, you can literally post it everywhere else. Okay, so I'm not gonna get into too, too much of where you wanna cross post this because every marketplace is slightly different. So for example, like you can't obviously do this on Poshmark because on Poshmark, for example, you need to use their labels, right? So you can't, dropshipping on Poshmark works very, very differently. But you could hypothetically post this to eBay. You could hypothetically post this to Instagram. You could hypothetically post this to Mercari. You could hypothetically, like you get the picture, right? So every marketplace is different. I'm not saying like post it everywhere. You need to know the specific nuances of every marketplace, but you can use List Perfectly to, to post your dropshipping listings other uh, like other places, right? So for example, if I wanted to post this to Mercari, I can just go boom, copy it. And like I said, tutorial coming on this soon. I just want to give you a little caveat to help you out and help you make more money listed other places where you can get sales and you get the picture. It's going to slowly post my listing to Mercari. I'm not doing this. It's just doing this for me. Okay. So little caveat there. Just wanted to kind of show that to you. All right. So now let's post one more really, really quickly to show you the tutorial one more time. Okay. So I'm going to copy to Facebook. And I'm just gonna sit here as it copies to Facebook, okay? And as soon as that little button pops up right here, I'm gonna click paste it, right? So paste data, bam. And the only thing that's doing this right here is the Z Drop Chrome extension. 
it's just it's going automatically right now. It's like I said, taking a little bit of time because I have a bunch of software and cross posts going in the background. And as soon as it stops pasting the tags in, you know it's done. So bam, it's done. So now let's go um, hand blender, blender, um, personal blender, I don't know, appliance. I'm just coming up with these quickly. Kitchen, appliance, and you get the picture. I don't even know if I spelled that right. We're just going to go with it. I believe the next number was 97. So we're going to copy the URL and go into the folder and go shortcut, paste the URL, 97. And now we know that anytime somebody orders 97, I'm coming to 97 and clicking that, right? So there we go with that. Let's fix the top of the description. Again, they always post this in there. Don't put that in there, okay? So it's new. We're going to say it's a mixer and a blender. It posts already a 20% margin, so 36 bucks, and it was posted for 30. I'm going to list this a little bit higher. Let's go like 43. I'm going to go with quantity three, and I'm going to take the brand out here. We're just going to say like ultra stick, 500 watt, five speed immersion purpose hand blender. Um, yeah, go to the end and go heavy duty and just take that off. That's not the best title, but for the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm not going to change it much. And then we just come down. I'm not going to add the brand. I'm going to paste the title in there and everything's set up perfectly, right? It's already hidden from friends because I set that up as a template on the actual Chrome extension. And then we're going to go shipping only. We're going to go use your own label so that I can obviously send it to whoever I want with the own with my own shipping. And then I'm going to add free shipping. And you'll see here that I'm going to make 4085 after fees when somebody buys this, which obviously leaves me a $10 profit margin. Boom, next, publish list. And there you go. It's going to list it to Facebook Marketplace, okay? So that's Facebook Marketplace drop shipping in a nutshell. That's how you do it super, super fast. Now, again, let me show you really fast. So we'll jump to it here now. So here's a perfect example of something that I ordered that's on the way to me, right? Now, this is not a drop shipping listing. I ordered this, obviously, for my reselling business. It's tape. I order this, like, I order multiple of these, like, every single week. But I love this tape. It, it works so well, right? But you'll see... Updating your blue care tracking, please wait. So originally right here, they had the Amazon tracking number, which is what it shows you. But because I have the DSM tool, it converts that as the extension into the tracking for Blue Care Express, right? So I can copy this tracking number and I can put that into Facebook so that I my buyer can track, right? And you need to do this within three days, but obviously fit, um, Amazon or ma the majority of companies will update this within like 24 hours, usually maybe 48, 48 hours max, but that rarely happens. And that way you don't need to run into the issue of giving them an Amazon tracking number. You can just convert it to a Blue Care Express. So hope you guys like this. I really hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. I've been playing around with this a lot lately and seeing that it actually works. So I wanted to recommend it to you. 